Maggie, I think this is the first interview I've ever done on a yoga mat. It's a brand new thing. You're a yoga instructor and I didn't realize this until we got here. How did that come about? So I've practiced yoga since I was very young, you know, started out, wasn't that person who could even touch my toes and then got a free class and loved the physical practice at first and the challenge it was. And then this kind of became my pandemic project. And I had a bunch of concussions in 2018, so just focusing in on yoga and kind of stepping back from school kind of became what I was doing. And it just kind of engulfed everything I started doing off the bike and had such a powerful impact. One of the things about yoga is that people will say, I can't do it because I'm too impatient. My mind races too much. I can't concentrate on something that slow. But for me, because I have a mind like that, that's why it really helps. Yeah, and I mean the beauty of yoga is there's so many different kinds of practices and types so it, it's really finding that niche or for certain people finding that teacher or that practice that works for them. Like not everybody can lie in one position for five minutes and be happy there. Like I, I can't even do that. Or just practice themselves. Like even I, I like guided practice and working with teachers. So yeah, it's finding that niche. And I mean, as you said, you've got to work that other side. So if you're super hyperactive and can't sit still, then yoga and breath work is probably perfect for you. So how does it help with cycling then? Because I've noticed in the last maybe six, seven years, it's become much more popular with cyclists, hasn't it? So what are the benefits to cycling in particular? Like six, seven years ago, there was still that really um, big mindset of like cyclists don't need to be flexible mm -hmm. and stretching isn't really good for you, which I think we've turned a corner and people have realized that no, actually it prevents injury, it makes you just less sore in your day-to-day -day life, so it just improves quality of life. And then, yeah, the meditation and visualization, obviously that's so applicable in bike racing and sport and just being able to control your mind and control your breath. And um, I felt it even just helps with uh, like getting through long efforts, being able to have that breath control and calm, relaxation, anxiety, like reducing all that. Like there's just, there's so much. You could go on and on and on about the benefits of practice. Um, and yeah. <laughs>